personally, I think Andrew Bolt has a point here that there is a correlation between the number of people who are, you know, are Muslim in a country and the number of terrorist attacks. Now, I have a lot of very good friends who are Muslim, who are peace-loving, who are beautiful people, but there are fanatics. And does the population and the correlation between those two things, is it having an impact? I mean, if you look at Japan, Japan has a population of 174 million. It has 100,000 people in that country who are Muslim. We never hear of terrorist attacks in Japan. Personally, I would like to see it stop now for Australia because I want to feel safe, as all of our citizens do, when they go out to celebrate Australia Day. And I'd like to see freedom of speech. And, Lisa, I think, you know, we're seeing I'd journalists I'd like to see freedom of religion as well, as well as freedom of speech. What, They're both so, hand in hand. But we're not hand. saying there's no freedom of religion. Well, if we we're talking there, about immigration, David. We are, but if you, but if you, this breeds hate. This sort of article breeds hate. When you have someone like Pauline Hanson going, so you're not saying, allowed to talk about. You're just not allowed to talk about it. You're not allowed to discuss it. Yes, you are allowed to talk about it, and you're allowed to, you're allowed to celebrate and worship whatever you want, whatever well, you don't. Want well, to I would worship. venture that if you spoke to the parents of those children killed in Nice, then they would be well, of, in fact, of the same opinion. In fact, the very first person who was killed, mown down in that truck, was a Muslim woman. Was a Muslim woman. Yes. So, you know, it's it's killing Muslims. Muslims I mean, it's, good Muslim it's, people. it's indiscriminate yeah, the way it's going. That's exactly right. But just, just to clarify, Sonia, are you saying that you would like our borders closed to Muslims at this point? Yes, I would. 